Kolkata Kolkata rape and murder story is concerned. We are now learning uh, that former Indian cricket team captain Saurav Ganguly is going to take to the streets of Kolkata uh, to join the protesters. Uh, this is the big breaking input that we are bringing to you. He will, uh, in the evening, he will also be participating in his wife's dance school protest is what we are learning. Let's quickly go across to Kamalika Sen Gupta who is bringing us those breaking inputs. Kamalika, uh, Saurav Ganguly's arrival uh, and you know the kind of support for the protesters has uh, been in fact uh, much awaited but remember he's also quoted controversy with regards to some comments that he passed could you share uh, all those details yeah absolutely the first day his comment was though he was totally he said that he's not uh, he was uh, this uh, this rape was horrific and this should be protested but he also said it was a stray incident but later on he also pointed out that this was uh, his uh, comment was blown out of proportion and it was not uh, placed rightly that was his uh, viewpoint. After that, we have been seeing that he has uh, commented on this, and he has he has he has also stated that he has a daughter, and he knows. I mean, this is absolutely horrific, and it is a big thing. We have not seen Dada, the Maharaj, the Saurav Ganguly of Calcutta, on roads for protests. I mean, I don't remember I've seen Saurav Ganguly for any protest in Kolkata. This is the first time he will be there. He will be protesting for Arjikar with the sports lovers and sportsmen. A uh, lot of uh, sports fraternity people will be there. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. he is going to sit uh, in protest of what has happened in Arjikar. Not only that, Dona Ganguly, who is the um, wife of Shaurav Ganguly, she will hold a protest uh, through her dance. So that is also very interesting, All right. uh, which is, which is, yeah, which is, we have never seen that. So that also we will witness tomorrow. Absolutely. Saurav Ganguly accompanied by his wife now all set to join those protests in Kolkata. But as we all know, the entire film fraternity has also been lending its support to these ongoing protests as has uh, the entire medical fraternity and the academia of the entire nation. And with that, let me also bring you all those voices that have spoken up with regards to the kind of horror that the women of Bengal have had to face. In fact, the entire nation is currently one. Let's listen in to all those political voices. We have with us students of Ajikar who are actually doing the protest from the very first day. Uh, are you all, uh, what do you have to say on the, uh, uh, you know, the observation, the order which came from the Supreme Court? We are, well, we are welcoming some of the decisions and some of the observations uh, made by the Honorable Supreme Court of India. But we're, it is definitely not a closer for our movement. It is definitely not a closer for our demands. And Why? We are, because we are demanding justice. And the justice comes when, when the, all the perpetrators, at, at most, what we have seen from the post-mortem post report, there is a fair chance there is more than one perpetrator present on the night of the heinous crime. And there is a nexus which was working behind that. There is probably there was a nexus which was working behind the scene to let the horrible incident happen. But still, after in, on 11th, 12th day, after investigation by Calcutta Police, after investigation by CBI, all the perpetrators except one and the nexus which was happening, they are at large. So, if we now return to work, who will guarantee our safety? A CIUSA personnel cannot accompany us in every nook and corner of the hospital. This is not quite possible. Uh, I want to ask a simple question. When Didi was sleeping that night, can a CIUSA personnel accompany her in the seminar room? कोलकाता भैया यहाँ पे मैं इस इंसिडेंट में आया हूँ मैंने कोलकाता के इंसिडेंट पे अपनी टिप्पणी करी है अपने भी रखे हैं यहाँ पे मैं डिस्ट्रैक्ट नहीं करना चाहता हूँ इसलिए मैं यहाँ इनका मामला उठाने आया हूँ। The Chief Justice of India has clearly stated that the state administration was absolutely callous. The Chief Justice of India observed 
that the evidence was destroyed. The Chief Justice of India in the hearing observed that the principle was promoted and reinstated. The Chief Justice of India observed that the state did not file an initial FIR of murder and rape. All of this points to only one thing, that Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee's administration was not interested in justice. Mamta Banerjee needs to resign in the interest of Bengal, in the interest of justice. We welcome the observations of the Supreme Court of India. Hey, thank you for watching this on CNBC TV 18. Hope you liked it. For more such interesting news and updates, follow CNBC TV 18 on all the social media platforms.